Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and I'm a master's student here at Goldsmiths in the psychology department. Today I'm here to show you the facilities, the labs and the technology that we have available here so that if you do come here as a student you know what to expect and the kind of research that we get up to. Hi, good stuff. Hello, hi. So eye tracking technology is used to measure people's eye movements while they're doing a variety of things. So we've got several eye trackers here. This is one of our high precision eye trackers. Now what we have here is an infrared camera filming a high resolution image. So what we can do now is we can monitor exactly where she is looking. So we use eye tracking generally to try and understand cognitive and some of the attentional processes. I'm particularly interested in how magicians misdirect your attention and therefore prevent you from seeing certain things happen even though they're happening right in front of your eyes. Oh hey! So this is Magdalene from the Forensic Psychology Unit. We are making major developments in investigative interviewing and lie detection. Right now there's a study going on where we're using this equipment to record behavioural data. So verbal and non-verbal. We're trying to look at whether rapport can be trained. We are in the Infant Lab with Casper, who is the director of the Infant Lab. The participants we're testing here are all under two years old. So you can be mummy and this is, this is your baby. <laughs> Usually we'll show something on the screen mm. and see the baby's reaction to that. But we can also put one of these EEG hair necks on the baby's head, which measures the brain activity mm -hmm. and tells us which bit of the brain the baby's using at various points. And that obviously can tell you a lot more about exactly what on earth the baby's thinking mm. because they can never actually tell you themselves. So we're here at the EEG lab at Goldsmith. Maria is one of the academics and she does research using EEG. So part of my research here at Goldsmiths is to investigate how a brain processes change while we learn new motor skills. So for instance, she is a participant with no expertise in music. Today she's going to learn new music pieces and we will look at the brain activity while she learns those pieces. We also invite musicians, so we have skilled pianists coming to the lab and one of the fun things we are doing right now is to look at what happens in the brain when they actually make mistakes and we understand now better how your brain processes learning of movements. So that's just a selection of the labs and facilities that we've got available here in the psychology department at Goldsmiths. So thanks so much guys and hope to see you soon.